Okay, so we're just in the middle of uh, removing this uh, oil stove insert. We just wrestled that out of here. I got my dolly. I'm going to cart this out to the curb. Um, all the oil equipment's been removed. So that's just a metal carcass. And uh, we'll just put it out with all the other metal and stuff. And somebody will pick that up. Um, yeah, now we can uh, move on. And at some point get an electric insert. Okay, we got this wiped down. All the old uh, insert is gone. Uh, let's see if we can whiten this. Uh, it might look a little bit better. Okay, so this is looking better already. That's the fireplace. I got my little my little helper helping there. She's doing a good job. The brush will be garbage after, but that's okay. The dollar store. It's from the dollar store. That is correct. Okay, so we've done a little bit more work on the fireplace. We've got the, the bottom part blackened out and the mantle black. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we have a nice brand new electric insert. And we're going to somehow fit this in here and mount it so that it's centered. Hopefully uh, make it look kind of like a flush mount. And maybe with some kind of a surround uh, to block this old opening. We're also going to have to fix up in here. You see that brick is sagging uh, where the old oil insert was. They uh, compromised the lintel to fit. Uh, the previous owner compromised the lintel to fit the oil stove. So we're going to have to fix this up. This uh, We're not going to make this wood burning anymore. So I think I'm probably just going to do this in lumber. Uh, but anyway, I want to address this to uh, push this brick back in place and help support the rest of this face. Uh, so we'll see what this looks like uh, as we progress. It's already looking way better. Okay, so continuing with the uh, fireplace uh, overhaul. Uh, I've got, I've put some uh, fiberglass bat insulation on the inside of the firebox. We're not going to use this. There's going to be no heat in here. We're, again, we're just going to have the uh, electric insert. So I've also plugged the top of the chimney. I've got two bats up here to cut down any drafts. And in the steel liner, I've also stuffed some stuff in the steel liner. Now I've built a little frame out of two by four, um, just so I can insert this, uh, this electric fireplace insert. I want it, make it flush mount. So <clears throat> not sure exactly. I think I've got a, my rough opening looks good. Let's just try to pick this up and put it inside. I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to mount it. But um, once I get this in, then we'll probably have to come back and do a little bit of trim all around to camouflage all this jaggedness. But it is what it is. We had to repair the the lintel that was cut. Uh, so the bricks were sagging. So I've got this jack back up into place. Kind of a sandwich arrangement there. It's not perfect, but it'll hold everything up. And it's it's glued, and uh, mm -hmm. this should work just fine. So let's see if that old insert, I mean the brand new insert, uh, mm -hmm. fits in this cavity. Okay, well there's my insert into the opening. Uh, I drilled some little holes on mine just to fasten them to the wood. Uh, I have nothing out back to fasten to. And there's obviously, we're not using the wall mounting brackets, so that's as good as what I can make it. I gouged out the wood a little bit so the cord could come out. I'm going to sneak it down the face and around the bottom. Let's put the face of this back on and see what we're left with. Some of this wood's going to be exposed. We'll have to come back and do something about that. But I think, I think we're on the right track here. Let's put the face on, see what she looks like. Okay, well, there's our electric insert in place. It's nice. Let's try a couple different colors here. Very nice. I love it. Pink, white, orange, blue. There's also other colors here. Oh, this, okay, the first button is for the flame color. You change the flame color. See orange, purple, that's what it is, okay. 
two heat settings. But of course, uh, because the fireplace was so butchered, we're going to have to come back and build a little bit of a surround. Have to make that out of either thin plywood or some really thin lumber or something like that. So just going to finish up with that to camouflage all that wood. I think it's going to look okay. Mm -hmm. You like? Very good. Very good. I think it's, it's very nice. nice. I think it's nice. So, what do we want? Blue or pink? Pink. Okay, hold on. Green, orange, yellow, blue. There's your pink. Now, red flame, yellow flame. That's some weird color combos when you think about it. There. All right. Let's build this surround now. Okay, well, one step closer to having this fireplace uh, completed. So the little piece that you see around here, this is actually an old piece of paneling that I ripped off the wall uh, to make this little surround. This is very thin, like uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, I think. And uh, I just needed enough to wrap around uh, to camouflage the jaggedness of the brick and so that the glass would sit uh, flush mount. So we're obviously still going to come back and paint this. I think we're going to paint this in white, kind of make it blend in with the brick. And uh, this is going to be our surround, free of charge. And uh, let me show you where it came from. So that's the piece of paneling I ripped off the wall. I despise this paneling. I want to rip all this off and have drywall in here. This is kind of a makeshift laundry room, but uh, this is another project for another time. I ripped this off to get this uh, eighth inch uh, paneling to make my surround. So, yeah, I did not break the bank on this one, but uh, there is a fireplace. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave this alone for now. The next time I show it, this should be all be painted white and uh, that'll be the final the final, the final product. Okay. Okay, well, here is the finished product. So that's our fireplace. Uh, got that surround all painted in white and did a little bit of caulking all around to make it blend into the wavy brick. So you never really know that it's an old piece of wall paneling, but I think it turned out good. Makes the old fireplace look a little bit more modern. And uh, it was a good little project. I don't like the green. I don't like the green rocks. Blue's okay. Red. Blue. Green again. Yellow I don't like. Pink. White I like. Okay. Well, that's it for this project. This was our old fireplace makeover. Um, and there you have it.